Hi there. Well, you've made it to the unit six. We're in lesson one. And um, unit six is easily the most exciting and fun and challenging unit of computer science discoveries, whether in you're in um, the first seventh graders or eighth graders or whatever level you are. But this is fun, exciting, and challenging. And lesson one, um, innovations in computing, is all about trying to set kids' minds um, towards thinking out of the box and being innovative. Um, using the circuit playground, they're going to invent new things, make sounds, uh, and use this device in a lot of different ways. Um, we'll get to that later, but today I want to talk about innovations in computing. Um, kids are going to be doing some research into um, various technologies, and uh, we're going to be looking at, and they're going to choose a topic, wearable technology, health and safety, um, agriculture, manufacturing, art and design, um, smart home, all of these areas, um, obviously up and coming, smart home, you might have a device in your own house today. Um, maybe you don't, but uh, devices that allow you to interact with your thermostat, locks, lights, using computers, um, art and design, interactive art and public installations. You know, how can we make that more uh, technologically advanced and make it more friendly to individual users? Manufacturing, advancements in rapid prototyping, um, industrial robots and production of goods, agriculture, technology to improve the effectiveness, sustainability, or efficiency in farming, um, devices that treat diseases, track your health, or protect users from danger and health and safety, and then of course wearable technology, watches, clothing, jewelry, um, accessories with built-in computers. So kids are going to be research choosing one of these and researching um, more in depth as to what that looks like and how they could um, because they're going to be figuring out how they can um, solve a particular problem. So we're going to start with, uh, let's choose something. I'm just going to go with smart home. Um, and then you should read this, okay, with your chosen topic as guidance. Go online and research innovative computing devices within that topic. You have one class period to do this. This should be fairly quick. Uh, maybe do some at home. But, uh, and then an innovative solution. What's a way, what's a problem that you have? Okay, what problem does this solve? You know what? I sometimes lose my keys. Um, and that's a problem. This is the main sales pitch of the project. Why the creator thinks it's useful. Okay, my problem that to be solved is um, never lose your keys again. Um, this product interacts with uh, locks, um, see, internet connected speakers. and other devices to help somebody always know where their keys are and can get in the house. Okay, so I can talk more about it so the key here is what's the problem? What problem does it solve? What's innovative about it? Okay. Uh, what makes this device different or better than other solutions out there? So uh, this isn't just a lock. Um, this isn't just a key. I can, I can say to my Alexa, where are my keys? 
and the key ring starts beeping. Great idea. Okay, or I can talk to my lock at the front door and it lets me. Yeah, I have never seen anything like that before. All right. Okay, how do you interact with it? Well, I kind of already said that, but uh, it's on the input and output elements of our model. So I ask a question. of Alexa and the output is a sound. I speak to door lock and it unlocks. Okay, what could you, how could you improve it? What other changes would you need to make this? What other changes can make this device better? Are there common complaints or clear issues that you might need to address? Um, talking to the door lock may cause some issues um, as somebody could impersonate family member um what else could go wrong with that but uh the nice thing is that's kind of a backup thing because i can find my keys because i can always find my keys All right, because with help from Alexa. Well, so there's my research. Um, I did some research and I can, um, there are some websites you can go to. You should probably search your topic, um, whether it's smart home, art and design, manufacturing, and you can just look up, interact with your thermostat or smart home thermostat, smart home locks, um, wearable technology, wearable like clothing technology and uh, devices that treat disease, track your health. Um, a lot of kids have come up with a lot of different things in the past. We have um, apps that work with diabetes and injecting insulin. Um, I've seen that 3d, you can look up 3d printers for rapid prototyping and industrial robotics, agriculture drones are a big one. How are drones used, um, to, for effectiveness, sustainability, and efficiency of farming, um, GPS, there's all kinds of how can, how are computers used in art design, um, or smart art and design, like do people wear a pin and a pic, uh, each picture will change when they, when they go by, uh, whatever the case may be, um, look it up and do the research. I'll move on to part two. And really that's just some uh, kind of getting, kind of giving some more detail as of what each of these are. Um, so look those up too, and it will help you Focus on hardware-based solutions over software programs. It's all about that. Focus on the recent innovations over new, old news, and follow what interests you. Go with what you like, as usual. Um, that's when I, you'll be able to be more, much more interested and want to continue researching. Um, so some possible sites. 
wearable.com, Modern Healthcare, MedStarter, National Institute of Food and Agriculture, uh, Farm Industry News, Industry Week, 3D Printing, Art Fab, Instructionals, Instructables, CNET, and then IoT Evolution. Um, so those are some options for you. Anyway, well, not anyway. Uh, so that should help you out if you have any questions about this. And um, remember, you are in control of what makes you happy and how you feel. Try and help other people out. As you go through your day and you will feel better by helping them. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.